Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be playing some Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. I have been looking forward to this game for a long time. I have not beaten the original, but I did play quite a bit of it. But it's been a while, so I probably have no, no memory of anything. So it's going to be interesting. But I'm excited. Oh, here we go. Oh man. Oh, it already looks way better, I think. Actually, I can't remember. Paper Mario, a thousand year door. Let's go ahead and get started. Uh, ooh. I'm glad we can actually make save files now. Maybe you could do that in the original, I can't remember. But it seems like a lot of games nowadays, it's like you only get the one save file and that's it. So I'm kind of glad we get to, uh, get to make another one. Or multiple. <gasps> It's a sticker book. Ahem. Today, I'm going to tell you the story of the Thousand Year Door. It's very old. <laughs> An awfully long time ago. Yeah, of course. In a strange and far off land, a big bustling town thrived. It was a town where all people lived very happy lives. And it was said that the town was very prosperous. It's a fish. But one day, tragedy befell this blessed place. The fish attacked. <laughs> a great cataclysm stuck the town and oh, it's moving on its own. Darkness filled the skies and the earth roared and shook. And, a fair, and the very world had come to a violent end. Jeez, dude, those lights are flashy. And in but a single night, the town sank into the depths of the earth. And everybody died. <laughs> Many moons rose and set. Stories of the town passed into the pages of fairy tales. And when the town's site no longer had relics of its past, held relics of its past, people gathered at that spot and built a new town. I don't remember any of this, but word soon spread among the people who moved in that an ancient city lay deep underground, and the magnificent treasure rested there. Indeed. This is the tale of the fabled treasure of Rogueport. I remember that place. Oh, there it is. I recognize that. The tale of a quest for the legendary treasure. And the thousand year door starts here. I didn't get to read what I said the first time. It went really fast. Oh, there's a treasure chest up there. I don't think we'd actually get that one, though. Oh, dude, wait, this looks way different. Finally, I have a minute without Toadsworth watching over me. He's so paranoid. I came all the way here on holiday, only to be stuck with Toadsworth. It's so stifling. Once in a while, I like the chance to look around in my own and see what I want. Dude, this looks so good! But now that I'm doing it, all I see is that this town is a very, um, distinct flavor. It's pretty run down. Oh, Missy! Missy! Oh, it's the old lady. I think. Won't you buy something? I have a white assortment of knickknacks and doodads, but this is a special favorite. So a little treasure box. Well, that's a pretty box. What's inside of it? <laughs> this box holds a map that shows where to find treasure. But the box has a magic lock on it that will only open for a pure and noble heart. As you can see, it won't as so much budge if such as one such as me touches it. Did you try breaking it? <laughs> I think it's a scam. If the box will open for you, Missy, then you may have whatever is inside. Go on, hold it. That's not suspicious at all. I suppose I could try opening it. Oh! Oh my gosh! And everybody's dead. <laughs> oh, look how cool those trees look! Dude, this looks way better! Like, way better! Mail! Mail call! I like the whistling in the background. Ah hoo! Who sent to me mail? Such a relaxing little spot. Hey, bro, check it out! A letter from Princess Peach arrived for you. I'll just read it to you. How's that sound? Ahem. Now let's see here.
Hello there, Mario. I am now on holiday traveling in the Mushroom Kingdom. In my travels, I came into possession of a mystical map, a treasure map, actually. It was inside a box I got from an old merchant in a town called Rogueport. But since it would be too difficult for me to try to go find treasure all by myself, I thought you could help me hunt for it. You will, of course, won't you? I've included the map with this letter, so please bring it with you when you come. I'll meet you at Rogueport. That means you must come, Peach. <laughs> yeah, throw it in the trash. What do you know? It's true. There's a weathered old map in here with that letter. Check it out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, kind of it reminds me of so much of the original. I love the original. The original is like my favorite Paper Mario game. Paper Mario, the thousand year door. Cool. Dude, even the water like it is actually super bright for me, though. <laughs> I don't know why. Prologue. Hey, was that coin up more than two sides? What? Interesting. A rogue's welcome. Oh, I guess I just hit buttons. Oh, I don't know why it's super bright. I wonder if I can turn that down or not. Excuse me, sir. Who's that? Who said that? Please wake up, sir. The town you've been speaking of has come into view. Look, the rogue port. Oh, I forgot. It just puts us here. We can't actually go into Mario's house. Rip. I actually noticed too that you see we'll arrive shortly. Please prepare to disembark. I noticed too that it was like a picture with all the allies from the first game hanging on Mario's dresser or sitting on it. That's so cool. I wonder how many people will actually notice it. Oh man. I must apologize, sir. Our arrival was delayed just a bit by rough weather. Are you quite sure you want to disembark here? I did tell you all this, the sordid tale about Ropart on our way here, did I not? I don't know what that word means. What's that? I'm sorry? You say there's a prince waiting, a princess waiting here for you? Is that so? Uh, of course, sir. Well, if that's what you think, then I won't stop you. But, uh, you be careful, sir. Don't say I didn't warn you. Oh my gosh. The ship can jump! Oh, he dropped me off. I thought he was just taking me away. I was like, I, I'm supposed to get off here. Oh, we got our hammer from the original. I think I made it like chapter three when I played this a long time ago. It's been like probably five years at least. Hit the block to save the events. Oh, okay. You get a game over if you start playing again from the title screen. You get some, yeah, 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 yeah. I know how saves work. Oh, I can hit him. Oh, I feel so bad, but it's so funny. Yeah, yeah. Can I hit Toad? Oh! <laughs> uh oh. Hey, what do you want? Get away from me, freak! Oh, I know her. Oh, come off it! I know you're a nosy book nerd, so don't play dumb with me. I see you walking around town asking for information about the crystal stars. Well, now I'm doing the asking, so be a good little student. Tell me what you know right now. Never! I don't have anything to say to you, creeps. Ew. <laughs> Ew. I suppose it would be right. It wouldn't be right if I sat if a sassy little ass like you met with an untimely demise. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> Boys, we're taking this firebrand to our fortress. As you command, Lord Crump, we're on it. Nice goggles. No, stop right there, you weirdos. I'll scream, really. Oh, hey, who's this guy? Where'd he come from? Hoof, 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 harf, hoof, half. Out of the way, you scallywag. Move your ever-loving bones. Don't tell me what to do. Okay, let's see. Uh, I'll save her later. I need to see if there's any secrets first. Any secrets? Fuck. Yikes, it looks like trouble over there. Probably best not to get involved, huh? I wouldn't meddle with other people's problems in town even if I had an extra life. Eh, uh, man, I'll listen to you either. I'm gonna go meddle. Like I go anywhere with a smelly loser like you. Huh, <laughs> not likely. What? What do you think you're doing, chump? You think you can screw up my plans? Ah, uh, I'm just a bystander. It's always something. Looks like I'm going to have to give you a little taste of the old crump a bomb. Uh oh. It's actually super quiet. I should probably turn it up a little bit. We only have five flowers and ten health. Can't flee this fight. Battle time, Mr. Man. 
just find a way to beat the freak out of the week. I like Mr. Man. Don't sweat the details. Just jump on him and hit him with your hammer. You got it. Uh, I remember liking hammer or er, jumping more. Oh, yeah, I'm so good at this game. Sweet. You know that hurt. Wow, I gotta say, you're tougher than you look. Keep it up and you'll beat him in no time. Oh, perfect guard, too. I'm a professional Mario... Uh, Paper Mario gamer. Oh, yeah. You got him in the ropes. Come on, keep wailing on him. Are you gonna do anything? That'd be nice. I've got, I've got 100 coins, dude. I'm rich. I guess we can... We can switch it up. Switch it up. Let's use the hammer. Oh, pfft. Easy. Star points. You did it! You did it! Yes! And you've got the star points! That's what these little things are, star points. That's what you use to level up. Star points you get will show up there. When you get 100 points, you'll go up a level. Don't forget that, okay? I think I remember it taking, like, way longer in this game to level up than the original. Bah, bah, bah. Okay, you got a couple decent shots in. I'll give you that. But, unfortunately for you, that means... It's go time. Uh-oh. We're surrounded! Punish him. Oh, no. <laughs> we just got jumped. They're killing us. Wait, did they miss us? No. Oh. Phew, what a bunch of bozos. Let's just sneak out of here. What do you say? I think it's a good idea, actually. Can I hit him, actually? I can't. <laughs> That'd be funny, though. Uh, a little secret. I do remember that, I think. No, wait, that looks a little different. I remember the paper airplane, which you see later. I was very bad at that. I hope they fixed it, because I remember it being tough to control. <laughs> Stop! Huh? What? Where did they go? Huh? You, Johnson! Did you see them? Did anyone? <laughs> Johnson. Oh, crud. They bolted. <laughs> Easy. Easy escape. Wow, mister. You totally saved me. Thanks. I have just got to give you a little reward. Whoa! Keep a PG! My name's Goombella. I'm a junior at the University of Goom. Nice to meet you. So, uh, who are you? It's a me, Mario. Mario, what, you mean like that famous guy? Wow, I can't believe I met you here. Cool, anyway, no offense, but you look like you just rolled into town yourself, right? Dude, they're, what the heck? Let's just go over there and beat them up. I already hate it here. There are freaks and weirdos everywhere. It's nasty. The boss. The boss in his greetings. I forgot about those guys. I think I do remember those guys. I mean, I know this place is called Rogueport, so I should have expected it, but sheesh. I never come to a place like this if there weren't some legendary treasure here. What? You're looking for the legendary treasure too? Seriously? Whoa, 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 bucko. What do you got there? It's the map. Oh my gosh. Is, is that a map? You have to tell me where you got that. Princess Peach, what? Great, Hoogly Poogly, if it isn't Master Mario. Oh, it's Toadsworth. I think that's his name. Bit of coincidence, but again to you, one another in the sort of place. Mm -hmm. So tell me, Master Mario, what in the world brings you to this wretched little burg? Thumbs up. Hmm, ah, indeed. Princess Peach sent you a letter on his treasure map. And she told you she'd meet you here in Rogueport. Intriguing. <laughs> oh, yeah. You asked me where Princess Peach is? Erm, I was about to ask you that. We stopped in this town to acquire a spot of fuel for our ship, don't you know? I only took my eye off her for a moment, but as soon as I did, she vanished. What? You know how headstrong she is, Mario. I just assumed she'd be back momentarily. But at this point, I fear we must embrace the possibility that she may never return. She may be dead. <laughs> but I'm feeling better with you here, Master Mario. Surely we'll find her, surely. But I know my place, Master Mario, and this is not it. I leave this task to you. I believe I'll recline in the inn, right over there, and enjoy a spot of tea, perhaps. Dang, making me do all the work. In fact, I highly recommend it, part it particularly if you find your HP running low. Just drop in the inn. Oh, ho, ho. Yes, anyways, a little rest there will fill all, it will fill all of your HP. I must say, though, the rest of this town is a bit 
rough. Yes, rough indeed. Yeah, you had no idea from the the hanging rope in the middle of town. I forgot what those, forget what those are called. Um, Princess Peach. Did he mean, like, Peach? Like, the Mushroom Kingdom Princess? Not a different princess. <laughs> the princess who always gets nabbed by Bowser the Koopa King. The one who you rescued? Wait a second. This is wild. Princess Peach sent you that treasure map? Whoa, this is really intense. Well, where could she have gone then, do you think? You think maybe she got sick of waiting and went to find the treasure on her own? Oh, I know, Mario. Come with me. One of my professors is searching that treasure. We'll sh we'll, is researching that treasure. We'll show him your map. If we start looking for the treasure, then maybe we'll find some clues about Princess Peach. Great. We're all good then. Let's go, Mario. Kumbella joined our party. Back when... Party members in Mario Party were actually, like, really cool. Goombella abilities, a primer. When you approach people, you may see an X icon. Oh, okay, I think I know how to do this. Yeah, she, like, gets, like, intel from people or something like that. Oh, that's, that's Goomther, the Goomba. He's always complaining about being swindled or mugged. Bruh. Poor guy. Oh, you can learn about locations, too. This is Roadport Square, if it's the center of town in the main business district. It's a crossroad where many... Blah, 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 blah. Jeez. It's a crossroad where many people meet, including more than a few shady characters. <laughs> I love how it just gives a thumbs up for everything. So, I think I've mastered this. I think I'm good. Of course, Gubella can be quite helpful in battle, too. She can jump to attack with head bonk. Or look at enemies' HP and weaknesses with their tattle. Oh, yeah. I do remember that. First off, we gotta go find my professor. Thing is, since I just got to town myself, I um, don't actually know where he lives. What? His name is Professor Frankly, and he looks like this. He looks kind of like a psychopath. Oh, far from forget to mention it. From here on, if you ever feel lost or confused, try pressing, try pressing ZL. That'll be my cue to share any info I know, which might help us figure out what to do next. Yeah, 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 okay. Uh, okay. So let's go ahead and save. Just so we don't have to do all the tutorial stuff again, because I feel like, like that's pretty much what it was. Um, let's see if we can buy some items. I think you could buy the original music thing here. Or maybe it's not here. No, I think that's a badge. Which I'm not sure if we can actually get that yet. That's guy, that's guy most a million. He sniffs out pr proposition. Oh, I thought that said something else. That might make him loot. With his nose of opportunity, he could really do well in the straight business world. But I guess no one in Roboport is really cut out for the sweet and suit and tie life. Oh crap, I didn't mean to do that. Um, I actually don't remember where this guy lives, so I guess we'll have to find him. I don't think it's here. This would be too easy. I, I wish... I don't think this game has it, but like in the original... Freeze! You two, not another step. Don't come this way. Some complete jerk just bumped into me and it made me lose a contact lens. I'm looking for it right now, so don't you dare move. You hear me? Whatever you do, do not move an inch. Okay, 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 okay. I get it. Switch. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Idiot, you stepped on my poor contact lens. I told you not to move. Don't you? Don't your stupid ears work? What were you thinking? Oh my gosh, everybody's crazy here. This is your fault. Now I have to buy a new contact lens, but you're going to pay for it. Compensate me, Mr. Clumsy. I'm Mr. Mario. Not Mr. Man, actually. They're spying you off. I'm gonna block the gate to west side. They bring me a new contact lens. Aw, oh, man. Didn't wanna go that way anyways. Crazy lady. Oh, dude, we can mash that. Ah, I remember this guy. Dude, some of these, like, old... These characters from, like, old games or, like, GameCube and 64 games were so, like, nostalgic just because of Super Smash Bros. Brawl. That, 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 he just robbed me! The guy bumps into you and just runs off like that. I know, right? Unbelievable. Some people are so rude. Yeah, they really are. Uh, this is Mr. Psycho, I think. Yes, it is. Oh, hi. There you are. Professor Frankly. Waza! <laughs> Who's there? Who wants me? Ah, yes, you. Now you, uh, wait for it. Just a moment. Don't tell me now. Silence. I'll get it right. Oh, it's not Goombriel. 
Or it's not Elizagoom. Elizagoom. Oh my gosh. Herm. Herm. Ha! Ah, I've got it. You're a Goombella, aren't you? You were in my archaeology class last year, am I right? Wow, yes, sir, that's me. I'm Goombrella. Goom Goombrella. Goombella, a junior. You Goom. Go Goombas. Go Goombas. Oh my gosh, that's like a tongue twister. Of course I remember you. Not to toot my horn, but I'm pretty good at remembering. You thought. You, though, you stick it out in my mind because you were such an exceptional student. She looks like an archaeologist. Yeah, the guy behind you is... <laughs> Thumbs up, man. <laughs> Oh dang, he doesn't know me. Mario, Professor, he's Mario, you know, the famous one? The plumber? Oh, my apologies, I'm such a bookworm, I haven't had a clue about what's, a, what's hip right now. In any case, what sort of errand brings you two all the way to a place like this? We were hoping you'd tell us about the legendary treasure said to be, to be below Rogueport. I thought that if anyone knew anything about it, it would be you, Professor Frankly. Of course I know about it. The reason I came here was to study that very subject. But why do you types want to learn about the legendary treasure? You know what they mostly you know they most say it's little more than a fairy tale, don't you? Archaeologists and historians have to search the truth in the fairy tales though. Me, I believe the legendary treasure truly does exist, and I really want to find it. Good point. And well made. In that case, I'll cooperate with you however I can. First of all, we should start by addressing just what the legendary treasure is. Some say it's an infinitely infinitely vast treasure hoard, while others say it's a magical item. Some books say it's actually a monster, while still others claim it's an empty chest. So many different theories, obviously it's impossible to divine the truth among them. But I'll agree on one point, to find the treasure, one must have the crystal stars. Crystal stars? I think those were in the first game. To find the treasures of yore, take the seven crystal stars of the thousand year door. That's how the old saying goes, and with the rhyme that's all that's solid, it must be true. Must be true. Therefore, if you want to find the legendary treasure, you first must collect the seven crystal stars. Oh, hey. I researched some of the written lore behind the treasure and kind of matches with that old saying. How the magical map will off before the entrance to the Thousand Year Door. Then the stars will light the way that lead to the Stone of Yesterday. The Stones of Yesterday. Is that referring to the same crystal shard stars you mentioned? Did I say shards for? Is it actually stars? They must be, and we're in luck. It seems the Thousand Year Door is located somewhere beneath this very town. Yet, the critical piece of the puzzle is the magical map. It's lost. If only we had that map. You mean this map? But we do have it, Professor. What? Hmm. And a hum hum a hum a hum a hum a hum a hum a a Really? Jeez, that's a lot of. You you actually have it? Could I just take a quick look at it if you don't mind? Astounding! This is it. The real thing. The one and only magical map. You son are my hero. You're great, fantastic, wonderful, even. With this map, we can locate the crystal stars just by holding it up in front of the thousand-year door. Right on, Professor. Good golly, what are we doing just sitting here then? Goombella, Mario. Let's take that magical map to the thousand-year door. Off, we must go this instant. I'll lead the way to the sewers underneath the town. And he's gone. All right. Whoops, did not mean to hit that. I want to actually check something. If I can, if she will quit talking, because I did not mean to hit that button. I didn't mean to hit that button. Okay, here we go. Yeah, okay. So here's our party, our gear, useful items. We have nothing. Our journal, we have nothing. Our gallery, is that new? Rogue port, oh, we have that either. Well, I think that's uh, gonna do it for this part. We got started. Uh, we're gonna go to the Thousand Year Door in the next episode. Finish up the playthrough already, probably. <laughs> but if you have enjoyed, feel free to leave a like, subscribe to keep up, because we will be playing through this game to the finish, unless I like suck at the end or something, I'm not sure, but thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.